Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today we're going to be looking at the pros and cons of the Orcos PC stick. But before we do that, I'd just like to quickly thank Harvard PR for sending this out for me to look at. So let's get into it. Right guys, before we start, I'm just going to quickly cover off the specifications. So this has an Intel Atom Z3735F quad-core CPU clocked at 1.3 GHz. It's got Intel HD graphics, 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB onboard storage, which is expandable it's running windows 10 it's got bluetooth 4.0 and it's got bg and n wi-fi so let's talk about the pros and cons of this now so the first pro i did notice was the image quality now this is capable of producing a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 which is full hd so if you've got a really nice 1080p tv then this will look really nice I think the uh, colours are nicely produced, I think it's really sharp and it's really clear. The only thing I did notice though for me personally is because I need glasses to watch TV, I found that I had to scale up the text and the icons to see them properly. Now that might not be an issue for you but for me it's something I did have to do. It's really simple and straightforward to do but if you're not sure how then uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll help you out. But yeah watching YouTube and stuff like that in 1080p and browsing the web is fantastic and it looks really nice. So the first con I did notice with this is how loud it is. Now, if you're watching YouTube, for example, or watching other media, then you don't really notice how loud it is. But say if you're just browsing the web with no music on, it is really quite loud. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a little demo of this running with uh, no music on, just to give you an idea of how loud it actually is. So the second good point about this is it's fairly quick to use. Now it boots up pretty quickly and light use it's pretty quick with the 2GB uh, RAM and the quad core CPU it does tend to do things quite quickly. Now bear in mind it's not a laptop replacement or a PC replacement it's just sort of an addition to but I think it's really good so say if you're just browsing the web and you've got a couple of windows open it will be fine. If you've got a few programs open again it will be fine. However, now we get to the con of that, and because it's not the most powerful system, when you start throwing more heavy multitasking at it, so if you've got loads of windows open and if you've got loads of programs open, then it will start to struggle. Now, like I said, this isn't a PC or laptop replacement, and it's not really designed for that, but it's just something I thought I'd mention. So now we get on to the next pro, and that is how compact this is system is so it's 113 millimeters tall by 37.6 millimeters wide so it's not big at all you can actually put it in your pocket if you wanted to so for example what would this be good for so say if you're stopping over at a hotel or something or you're going around to someone else's house and you want to say show them something you've got stored on it it's not going to take up too much room in your bag and even if you've got a large jacket with a big pocket in it you could probably fit that and the power adapter in as well so I think that's really cool, especially if you travel a lot. It could be an ideal replacement because it's much smaller than a laptop. So the next con is the short power cable. Now because my TV is quite high off the floor, I did notice that the cable was struggling to reach and it was straining a little bit. So what I've had to do is prop my power strip up a little bit so the cable can reach and it's got a little bit slack in it. Now if you've got your TV wall mounted pretty high, then you might notice that depending on where your outlet is, the cable might not be long enough to reach so you may have to get a third party one if you can and if I can find some I'll link them in the description. It's just something I noticed it might not affect you but it did me. So the next cool thing and the next pro about this is expansion. Now although it's only got 32 gig built in you can actually put an SD card in it so if you want to store photos and videos on it it's good that you can actually expand because the 32 gig gets used up pretty quickly. I think having that expansion is good. Now we get on to the downside. Now unfortunately it doesn't come with an SD card and it only has one port. Now for the size of it that's understandable but it's just something I thought I'd mention. So now we get on to another pro and that is the cost. And this is not just the cost of the unit but it, how much it is to run as well. Now the unit itself cost £80 in the UK and I will uh, link it in the description and other places as well if I can find it. 
So comparing that to a laptop and a PC, it's actually quite a big saving. Now like I mentioned, it isn't to replace those, but if you're just using it for browsing the web and watching media, then you don't really need a PC and laptop anyway, because I think it's a little bit overkill if you're just browsing the web and watching media, because this can do that perfectly fine. And now to my final point, the app. Now, the app is free to download and it's really straightforward and simple to set up and use. It's just actually in use. There's a lot of sort of errors and bugs with it. Now, sometimes the keyboard won't actually activate, so you can't search for anything. So say if you're in Google, it just doesn't allow you to search. Also, it's a little bit sluggish at times as well. And if you've got a slow connection on Wi-Fi and you've got a lot of stuff on Wi-Fi, it can be a little bit slow. So what I would recommend you get if you buy one of these is a Bluetooth keyboard with a trackpad. Now I will link a couple in the description and I just think that would make life so much easier if you're planning on using this quite a lot. Right guys, so now you've seen all the pros and you've seen all the cons of this product. So what would you actually get one for and is it actually worth getting at all? Well, for £80 in the UK, I think the price is pretty reasonable. It does have some good pros, but it also has some cons as well. Pretty much like with every product you get on the market today. But do the pros outweigh the cons? I think for the money, it's definitely worth considering. So what would you use it for? So web browsing, media consumption. So say if you've got a Netflix account and you watch a lot of YouTube, then I think it's really cool to be able to do that on your television without having a PC connected to it or without connecting your laptop or something else. And you can also do loads of other things so you can edit documents on it as well. And you can also do other things you can on a PC. Yes, it might not do it as quickly, but it's more convenient in a way you can just plug it into the side of your TV and then put it away if you don't need it or in my case just leave it in the side of your TV and just use it and when you need to. So like I said for £80 it's really good value. I don't think it can replace a laptop and a PC in terms of power obviously because it's such a small unit and the power is limited. So it's definitely not a laptop replacement, but I think it'd be a good accompanying device. So like I said, for media consumption and for just watching stuff on the big screen, then it's definitely worth considering. Like I say, it does all the stuff that PC does as well. It's just a little bit slower. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you've got any questions about this product in particular, then let me know by asking a question in the comment section. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all on the next video.